If romance was a person, that person would be Gigi Gorbani. You know, the L Word reboot, it got a lot of things wrong, but the one thing it got right was casting Sepeda Moafi and pairing her with as many women as possible. That has probably saved the show. She's a killer. Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I'm going to be thirsting, yes, thirsting on camera over Gigi Gorbani and the woman who plays her, Sepeda Moafi. Everything about this woman is just so delicious and it's not just that she looks like she was crafted by Aphrodite in the Elysian fields. I get all my knowledge of ancient Greece from Xena so I have no idea how historically accurate that sentence was. It's not just that, it's just her energy, it's just everything about her, it's just she has a beautiful soul and she's like a burning star encapsulated in the female form and I would go to war for her, I would go Game of Thrones for her, you know, she is my Persian queen and I, I have to protect her. She, she probably would think that this is weird. Look, Gigi Gorbani, she looks like she knows her way around the female body. It looks like she knows how to be with a woman. She's just so passionate and she's just so emotionally open and she's willing to communicate. She's literally the lesbian dream. You know, this probably sounds like a bit of a bold thing to say, but honestly, I think Gigi's scenes with other women in Generation Q are the best love scenes in the entirety of the L word, including the OG. I just think Sepeda Moafi brings such a passion and openness to that character that translates on screen. It's just so delicious to watch. There's no way of saying that and keeping my dignity, but welcome to my life, I guess. Why do the lesbians love her? Great hair, willing to communicate, emotionally open, knows how to lay it down on a woman. There you go. So here she is in season one of Generation Q and I love her wardrobe in season one. I also love her wardrobe in season two. To be honest, you could put her in a garbage bag and I would still think she looked like Zeus's gift to the mere mortals of this earth. But anyway, she looks good in a suit is what I'm trying to say. Here she is making tea for Nat. You know, tea is a sure sign that she wants a slice of the cake that you are offering. Also, those arms, I, I appreciate those arms. They look very capable and strong. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. She has such strong biceps because she's consistently lifting cups of tea up and offering them to her women. I think it's safe to say my favourite look of hers is definitely her in a white shirt. She looks like Romeo, she looks like Lothario, she looks like a Shakespearean romance and there's also like this really gorgeous contrast against all her jewellery. Here she is just looking at Bette with those big puppy dog eyes and you know if Jennifer Beals came out of the OG still a heterosexual I don't know how she is surviving in Generation Q. I love this look because she looks like a power dyke and that's incredibly hot to me. I also love that Gigi doesn't really get modern art because neither the do I, you know? If somebody draws a square on a piece of paper with a crayon, is that modern art or is that person just drinking a little bit too much medicine, shall we say? Wardrobe were correct to give her a lot of v-necks and low cut tops because she has a wonderful pair of personalities and I appreciate them very much. Somebody needs to start an Instagram fan account for Gigi's side boob. That's, that's just necessary for gay rights. Okay, moving on to pictures of Sepeda. This is just so gorgeous. I don't know where to start. Her eyebrows are beautiful. Her eyes are beautiful. Her hair is beautiful. Her hands are beautiful. Her lips are beautiful. Her two little cute front teeth are beautiful. Skin flawless woman flawless, energy on point, soul on point, personality on point, acting on point. She has beautiful hair and she likes tea. I mean, what more could you want in a woman, you know? I can't really talk about this picture because this is a family channel and, um, you know, I'm, I'm already on thin ice with YouTube. 
I'm skating on that thin ice. Okay guys, um, I don't know if you needed this video in your life, but you you got it anyway. You'll, you'll never get that time back. You have spent it with me. If Gigi Gorbani spoke Farsi into my ear, I think another lesbian would just manifest next to me. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!